In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove certain parts of images. For example, in this picture, I'm going to remove these white road lines on the road, allowing us to put in the Google sign. So eventually, we'll have something that looks like this, where you have the Google sign in here, the road signs have been removed, and also, as you can see, Home Simpsons shoes have been changed from white to black. The first thing we need to do is select the Spot Healing Brush tool. This is found usually in the hidden in the hidden menu. So you need to hold down and click on this button here. Click on the spot healing brush tool. The next thing we need to do is zoom in. Use the magnifying glass at the bottom of the screen. Make sure it's set to magnify. This one zooms out, this one zooms in. The next thing we need to do is make sure the brush size of the spot healing uh, tool is correct. At the moment this is quite a good size. We can change the size up here make it bigger so it's absolutely massive or make it smaller so it's really tiny. But we're going to go in the middle and I'm going to show you now what happens. The way this tool works is it matches the color from one side of the circle to the other. So if I click around you can see that it's matching the colors with other images or other colors in this picture. And you can see eventually I'm removing all of the road uh, all the road signs or all of the road lines. See what I'm doing it up here. I change the size of the brush because it makes it easier to do it. It can be a bit fiddly, but eventually you should be able to remove the road lines. Sometimes as you can see it will come up with this bit here and it may look a bit odd. But eventually, once you persist with it, you can remove all the road lines. This works on other pictures as well if you want to remove spots or blemishes or anything from uh, images. For example even here, I can remove this kind of grey shadow on the on Homer Simpson's white blazer just by clicking on it. I can even remove some of the creases. Obviously here first of all we need to change the size, make it go down a little bit. But then as you can see the creases eventually start to remove, start to go. The next thing we need to do now that we've removed the road uh, road signs, we need to get the Google Doodle into the image. To do that I've got it open already on here. All you need to do is click on the arrow sign, click and drag into the into this image here, and then let go of the mouse, and it places it in the image. Now at the moment, this is way too big. So what we need to do is change the size. Now in the last tutorial, I showed you how to change the size by pressing Control T on the keyboard or going to Edit Transform. I'm going to make this Google Doodle just a bit smaller. I might make it a little bit smaller than that. And there you go. So now I've got this Google Doodle here placed down. Now at the moment it looks a bit it looks all right, but we need to improve it. How do we go from this to this? How do we place it behind Marge so it's actually on the road but it's still behind Marge? Well, the first thing we need to do is we're going to hide this layer here. So we're going to hide the Google Doodle layer by clicking on the eye and it's now disappeared. First of all we're going to use the magic wand tool. This is found in this secret menu here. So if you click on it and hold down it will show magic wand tool and the first thing you need to do is make sure the right layer is selected. So let's choose this layer here and I'm going to remove or press control or go to edit cut and I'm going to go to edit paste special paste in place what this does is it puts this whole part of the picture into a separate layer and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the road over here edit cut 
edit, paste special, paste in place. Now what happens is if I show the Google Doodle, I can actually move it between the different layers. So at the moment it's a, the Google Doodle is above all of the, uh, the separate layers. But if I drag it underneath layer 3, you'll see that the road is actually on top of the, or the left side of the road is on top of the Google Doodle. And I drag it even further, and now that road is underneath it. Uh, the, ro the right side of the road is on top of the Google Doodle as well. However, this is not what I want. What I want is for the road to be right at the back. And I want the image, so all the Simpsons characters to be on top of the Google Doodle. And now you can see Google is behind the Simpsons characters but on top of the road. So it's not hidden by anything else. Finally, the last thing we need to do is with the Google Doodle selected, we need to go to Edit, Transform, and then go to Skew. What this allows us to do is change the image to make it look like it's put on the road. And as you can see, I'm keeping with the angle of the road. So now it looks like the Google Doodle has been painted onto this road. And if I move it a bit to the left, and just move it a bit down, you can see there, just like the zebra crossing looks painted on the road, now the Google Doodle looks painted on the road as well. This is how you would do this kind of Google Doodle.